story, The Kid Inventor. Episode 6. Let's build a cheer-up bot. Where is it? You promised me a doll. Sweetheart, I couldn't sell enough apples today. I promise I will buy you one tomorrow. But I want it now! <laughs> I won't believe your lies anymore. <laughs> Suji! <sighs> huh? Dory, what's the matter? I think I made a big mistake. What's wrong? Let's hear the whole story. What happened was... I see. It's my fault, isn't it? That's really hard for me to judge, but... But what? We shouldn't be quick to determine that every lie is bad if we do not know the underlying circumstances. Uh, but you also said that lying is bad. I did. But let me give you an example of a lie told with good intentions. It was during World War II. Sir, we don't have enough morphine for all the wounded soldiers. I am aware of that. Dr. Henry Beecher of the U.S. Army faced a crisis as his supply of pain-reducing morphine ran low. Our men will not survive the extreme pain unless they are sedated with morphine. What if we administer a saline solution, but inform the patients that they are receiving morphine? Sir? To give hope to his patients, Dr. Beecher had no choice but to lie. How are you feeling? Thanks to the medication, I don't feel any pain. Amazingly, many of his patients who were given the saline solution reported pain alleviation. It was their faith in the prescribed medication that led to their recovery. Oh, that's incredible. So Dr. Beecher's lie saved many people. Exactly. It was a white lie. Before we judge a person's actions, we should take his intentions into consideration as well. Is it a white lie if a shopkeeper claims that he isn't making any profit? That's not a white lie. But isn't it understandable for a shopkeeper to raise the prices so that he can make a living? Of course, he should keep his prices within reason. Hmm, makes sense. Sir? Eek! You again? Uh, I'm sorry about what happened earlier. I want to help you. Help me? How? Fresh and delicious apples for sale! To be honest, they're not that cheap, but relatively speaking, they're worth the price. Let's call it a day. Sari will be absent today. Did something happen to Sari? Sari's grandmother was hospitalized. She will probably be absent for a few days. A few days? Hmm, it must be serious. I'd better visit her at the hospital. Sari! Oh, what are you doing here? <laughs> I came to visit. Are you one of Sari's friends? Uh, how do you do? My name is Dory. Oh, you must be the famous Dory. Oh, do you know me? Of course. Sari talks about you non- Grandma! Don't move! I'll be right back! Huh? <laughs> what a shy girl you are. Sorry to keep you waiting. How is she? She just fell asleep. Is she all right? Grandma has a severe case of the flu. 
Since she's old and fragile, she needs to be hospitalized until she fully recovers. That's a lot of trouble for you. It's no trouble, but there's one thing that's been bothering me. What's that? Mom and Dad are so busy at work, and I can't miss any more school. So starting the day after tomorrow, Grandma has to be alone. Just the thought of leaving her alone breaks my heart. Grandma gets lonely quite often. She became even lonelier ever since her beloved dog died. <sighs> How can we cheer her up? Hmm. I'll try to come up with some ideas as well. Ugh. There's got to be a solution somewhere. Huh? Bingo! This is perfect! Scientists are developing RoboPets as companions for seniors. 2019 Robot. <laughs> Uncle Jingo! I need your help! Be careful. You're going to break that door. That's not important. Hear me out. What is it this time? Sari's grandmother is in the hospital. So you want to build a cheer-up bot that can keep her company? Exactly. Well, kid, you're heading in the right direction. Good luck. I can't do it by myself. I need your help so that I can finish in one day. What's the rush? Sari can look after her grandmother only until tomorrow. You're going to help me, right? Sure. I can devote all my energy to my favorite nephew's new project. <laughs> You're the best, Uncle Jingu! Get ready to stay up all night. We must develop a flawless blueprint and pay close attention to the smallest details. Mm -hmm. No problem! My assistant, please gather all the available data on robo-pets. Yes, sir! Let's start over. 